Hello, welcome to first session on cube and cube roots. Previously, we had learned square and square root is simply an extension of it. What is cube? Let's first see what is cube. Cube is any number raised to the power of 3. If I'm writing simply cube of a certain number, I'll express it as cube of a number. Suppose I write mm, 2 to the power of 3. This is cube of 3. That means 2 into 2 into 2 and that's 8. So 8 is a square, square sorry cube number because 8 is the cube of 2. Similarly, if I say 10, you cannot find the natural numbers whose cube is 10. So, cube is not a cube. Uh, sorry, 10 is not a cube number. And similarly, if you see 64, which comes to my mind, like 64 can be expressed as 4 into 4 into 4. So, 4 to the power 3 is 64. So, 64 is a cube number. Now, we see if... The question asks, is 216 is a is 216 a perfect square? If yes, what is that number whose cube is 216? As we did in the square root, here also we express it as a product of the prime factors so it is 216 if I'm finding the prime factors this becomes 108 then it is 2 that's 54 it's I think 27 is divisible by 3 and I'm getting 3 and 3 so we'll be expressing 2 into 2 into 2 with 3 into 3 into 3. Now, if you recall in the square roots, we were pairing, uh, grouping them in pairs. Here we'll be grouping them in threes. Like this is a group of 3, this is a group of 3. The factors will take 1 as 6, 2. And for these 3 threes, we'll take 1, 3. So I'm getting 6. So 6 cube should be 300, 216. If you see 6 is the 36, 36, 6 is 216. So, yes, two, sorry, I made a mistake here. We are calculating Q. So, yes, 216 is a perfect cube, and 6 cube is 216. We now move on with questions based on this. See, what is the smallest? number by which 392 must be multiplied so that the product is a perfect cube. That means 392 is not a perfect cube number. We have to multiply something to it so that the resultant number becomes a perfect cube. So let's see why 392 is not a perfect cube. To do so, we'll express it as a product of the prime numbers. Sorry, prime factors. So it is 196. Again, if I put a 2, it's kind of uh, 98. And then it is 49, 7 and 7. If you express it as a product of the prime factors, you'll get 2 into 2 into 7 into 7. Had there been another 7, we'd have made it would have made it a perfect cube. So if we multiply a 7 to it, if you multiply a 7 to it, that will make the resultant number to be a perfect cube. So, the answer is 7 because if you multiply a 7 to it, it becomes 2 and 7, then it would become the cube of 14, right? So, the answer actually is only 7. <laughs> a similar question can be taken where the question is asked to what smallest number would be multi, uh, sorry, divided so that the resultant number becomes a perfect cube. I write this question here in the space. Here we go. 
sorry what is the smallest number by which 3087 must be divided so that the quotient is a perfect cube. Let us again express 3087 as a product of the prime factors. So to do so, I'll use this space here. It is 308 sorry 87 if you see it is uh, divisible by 3 I can see yeah divisible by 3 will be giving me 1029 that's again divisible by 3 so it is 3 4 3 that's I think not more anymore divisible by 3 it's divisible by 7 I can see so that's giving me 49 again you divide it by 7 that will give us another 7 so what I'm getting here is 3 into 3 into 7 into 7 into 7 that means <coughs> these three doesn't have another third group with third pair with it so that you make it a pair make it a group so if you divide and try to remove these two threes that means it is 3 into 3 is 9 so if you divide 3087 by 9 the resultant number whatever we get like 3087 divided by 9 is giving me only 343 because that is left over here and that will be the cube of 7 so you need to subtract sorry divide it by 9 divide by 9 to get a number which is a perfect cube right move on to another screen to take up more question we see a little, uh, application on in the numerical format wherein how to use a little bit of square root and uh, cube combined I'll just write down one question here it says 24 square plus 7 to the power 2 whole to the power 1 by 2 and another whole power to the power cube sorry so we see directly take up the part inside the bracket so 24 square i think is 490 for wait, 24 square I think is yeah I'm getting 576 you have 7 square that is 49 to the power 1 by 2 mix it finding out the square root so 576 plus 49 is giving us 625 sorry 625 square root and then it is cube of that number 625 square root is 25 25 cube will be that number if i do i'm getting one five six two five it if had it been a one by three it would have made uh, like cube root of that number right if you are supposedly given the volume of a certain number and you are asked to find a side, suppose I say, I am not writing the question in the whole, I am giving you the short um, information like volume of a cube, suppose is given, volume of a cube, suppose is given as some, some expression, some expression, some x cubic centimeter, cubic meter and you have to find the each side. That because you know that volume is length into breadth into height or a cube for a uh, cube so what you do is find the cube root of the given number to find the side this is a direct one when in you your cube root can help you find otherwise we'll see a question wherein 
combination of square root and cube roots application I write this here in the space provided so we have to find the volume of a cube whose surface area is given to us as 150 square meter if the surface area is 150 square meter how do you find the surface area of a cube a cube we find the surface area of a cube as 6a square that means 6a square is given as 150 if we find a it will be we can find the volume so a square is 150 by 6 150 by 6 is giving us 25 right so a is that means uh, each side of the cube is square root of 25 and that is 5 each side is 5 so we can find the volume as 5 to the power 3 and that will be 5 into 5 into 5 that is 125 uh -huh. cubic meters or you can write meter cube separate. we may want another screen to take more questions here we will see this cube of negative numbers now cube of negative numbers means what if I am given a number who is like minus suppose minus 2 I have taken whose cube we are finding so it's minus 2 multiplied to minus 2 multiplied to another minus 2 right so that would give me 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 so it is again a negative 8 so if we are asked to find the cube root of minus 8 then the answer will be minus 2 so that way we see we are supposed to find the cube root of minus 1 3 3 1 in such case what you do is find the cube root of 1 3 3 1 that I'll tell you is 11 as because the question has a negative number in it you can put an another negative to it so minus 11 square is a uh, is the cube root of 1 3 3 1 next comes the rational numbers if you are getting rational numbers how do you find the cube of rational numbers similarly the opposite way around you can find the cube root of rational numbers if you are given 2 by 3 is whole cube so what we do is we write 2 into 2 into 2 by 3 into 3 into 3 so sorry this is like 8 upon 27 similarly if you are asked to find the cube root of 8 by 7 you can do so for finding cube root of 8 separately and find the cube root of 27 separately and find the answer we take up one such question we are asked to find or show that minus 216 by 4 2 8 7 5 is the cube of a rational number and whose rational number is that see we separately find the cube root of 216 and 4 2 8 7 5 I do these two things here I'm first doing it for 216 like I write 200 and as because 216 is negative but in the previous part we saw that I think the 216 is 6 cube so let it be as 6 by I better take up only 42875 you know if you keep doing a few sums you'll see that you remember a few of the cubes and squares so 428 directly let us give a 5 it is giving me 8, 6, 7, 5. Again, it is divisible by 5. 8, 6, 7, 5 gives me 1, 7, 1, 5. It is divisible by 5 gives me 3, 43. I think then it goes by 7. 7 gives us 49. And another 7 will give us a... 7 there so that makes if I am doing a 
grouping for these fives i'll take a five for these sevens i'll take a seven so it is 35 i'm getting it as so this is minus 6 by 35 cube right the question was to find the cube root so it will be minus 6 by 35 hope you followed them well right we'll see a few more questions in the next sessions thank you